It's fight night. It's Amazon AWS versus Microsoft's Azure. Who will win? Who will lose? Find out next time. All right, in this video, I'm going to compare and contrast the uh, weaknesses and strengths of Microsoft's AWS, <laughs> Microsoft's Azure, not AWS, and then Amazon's AWS in their cloud platform. And I'm going to judge these, um, I guess, cloud providers based on five criteria, since these are the top two cloud providers right now. And I guess you can argue Google is up there as well, but these are definitely the top two, I would say. So five criteria are going to be ease of use, like the cloud market share, how much, um, how many people are using it. So uh, three is going to be risks, such as availability, and like future proofing, how long will they last. Four will be pricing, which one's cheaper, which one's not cheap. And then five is going to be the usefulness of the services. So this video might be helpful to you if you're deciding on whether you're going to use Microsoft or Amazon AWS. So it, it could really help you out in the long run, especially because it, once you pick one, you're pretty much stuck with it. It's going to be kind of annoying to switch. All right, so let's start with the usefulness of the services. So if we look at AWS's web page here, they have 212 services. Of course, they're not going to display them all here on their web page, or otherwise that'd be overwhelming. But 212 services, all with very, like, different, um, all very different uses. And Azure doesn't separate their um, their services, or they don't separate like into their number of services. So let's look at their products. So here we are on Azure's documentation page. So this is all of Azure's products and they have a lot of products. Trust me, it's everything from machine learning to analytics, blockchain, compute, containers, databases, developer tools, DevOps, hybrid, identity. So there's so much to list, honestly. Media, migration, mixed reality, oh, mobile, networking, security, storage, web. You know, they have like the whole alphabet zoo here. And I counted it all up, and it is actually around 250 products. Of course, that doesn't, um, I guess, translate directly into services, but it is definitely comparable in terms of um, AWS's 212 services that they have. Of course, AWS service will, services will likely cover all these, use, all these product use cases as um, Azure has right here. So it, the, don't let the number really... Um, kind of dissuade you into saying, oh, Azure is better because they have more products. That's not necessarily the truth here. Let's look into other things. All right, the next thing I want to look at between AWS and Azure is pricing, of course. What people, I guess this would probably should have been the number one thing to look at because people care how much they're paying. And so, yeah, so both Azure and AWS have a pricing calculator. So this is um, AWS's one. So you can create estimates. And then select the service you want to use, like for example, um, EC2, or that's probably the most common. In fact, we're going to look into a comparison of EC2 versus Azure here. So um, I've already configured it though. So, so the comparison we're going to run though is we're going to have a one uh, four VP virtual CPUs, 16 gigs of RAM on Linux because uh, it would probably cost more with Windows, and Linux is probably more common anyways. So one of those, we're going to do it for a reservation term of um, one year. We're going to do full upfront because that'll be cheaper. Uh, general purpose SSD with 100 gigabytes. And so that's going to come out to be $770.88. All right, so let's look at um, Azure's calculator. So you can start for free, kind of similar, very similar kind of. So they claim you'll pay less with Azure. AWS is five times more, five times, isn't that ridiculous? Five times more expensive than Azure for Windows. Oh, okay. For Windows and SQL Server. Okay. I guess it makes sense since they own Windows and they're just being jerks about it and charging AWS way more for those, those products. So I guess that makes sense. Uh, they claim up to 71% savings, 85% savings, 45%. Okay. Sure. Five times is kind of crazy though, but. Anyways, let's um yeah let's look at the um, the cost differences. Um, wait, did it just bring me to a start? No, okay. All right. Um, okay, I had I swear I had a price calculator here somewhere. Oh, uh, 
All right, so we want to make we want to make the same comparison with um, running a server for Azure. We want to compare how much it'll cost for a server with the same kind of number of virtual CPUs, same amount of RAM, uh, same operating system. Because if we used Windows, of course, it's going to be way more expensive on AWS. The five times more expensive that they claim. Um, so yeah, let's let's see that. So here we have four, four CPUs, 16 gig of RAM, 100 gigabytes of storage. So we're going to do one year reserved because that's cheaper. Um, we're going to pay it all up front. And we can already see that this is actually a lot higher than the, um, I think, $770 we saw with, yeah, $770.88. So this is for AWS. So that's ridiculously cheaper. So that's over 30%, 40% cheaper. So Azure claims five times cheaper for Windows, but if <laughs> you wouldn't be using Windows if you're on AWS and you cared about the cost, unless it's really, you really need it. Because this number right here, unless I'm doing something different, and let me know in the comments if I am, but I don't think I see any differences because it's, it's kind of ridiculous, the, the price hike. But I guess that's what you get when you um, go with something that has a grip over the, the market. Of course, you might be saying, oh, yeah, that's only like $600. That's not much to a big company. It's more like $700, actually. But yeah, $600, $700, that, this is for oh, like one CP, or one virtual machine over the course of a year. So of course, one company, or at least most companies, are not going to be using such small, I guess, numbers. They would be using much more than that. Because as you might know, AWS um, gets most of their profit from or sorry, Amazon gets most of their profit from AWS. So of course, let's think about this more in percentages than actual numbers. So ju just to see, I wanted to switch this to Windows Server on the same exact um, setup, 4 gigs of RAM, 16, or 16 gigs of RAM, 4 CPU CPUs. And it does, does go to around the same price that Azure has. But this is not the five times the price that we, we saw before. And I, I want to kind of double check that was actually the, the wording. So this is only Windows Server. If I could add like server, SQL Server Enterprise, maybe that'll make it go five times. Oh, there we go. Five <laughs> That's actually, whoa, that is kind of crazy. For what? $14,000? What? OK, maybe, maybe I trust them. I guess that's the server, the web, or the enterprise one. OK, I, I'm seeing the, starting to see how much w Windows is. OK, this is probably the f more time, more like five times here. Five, so this is um, SQL Server standard. OK, that makes sense. It, it kind of made it seem, though, like it was only the Windows alone would be five times, in which case it is not. It is like maybe $50 more than Azure. So if, if you're using Windows, use Azure. Otherwise, I cannot see a reason to use it. So if you're using Windows or um, the SQL Server. So I do want to show one graph here. And we're just going to leave out Google Cloud because we don't care about it here. So it's in this article. I'll link in the description. But this one article here states that the annual growth for Microsoft Azure this last year was 62.3%, which is kind of ridiculous. I mean, of course, all these other clouds are going up as well, like Alibaba and Google. And only AWS only had a 33% annual growth. And you might be saying, yeah, I guess that's AWS, Azure has a much bigger growth. And I guess that's because cloud is growing at a really crazy rate right now. So it's, this is really the good time to get into cloud, cloud uh, computing. But the actual um, amount of money made by AWS is way, way more. And so it, <laughs> they might have a bigger percent growth. That's because they didn't really have much to begin with. All right, now I want to look at which companies are using AWS and Azure individually. So um, I found another article which states that Netflix, Facebook, so those are already two companies in FANG. Facebook, uh, of course, Amazon is using AWS as well. So there's three companies in FANG that are using uh, Amazon Cloud and AWS because Ada, uh, Amazon, AWS uses, uh, they, they develop like 
sometimes using like their own Lambda functions. I was told by one of their developers at AWS. So, and you can see here, like most of these are really big companies. LinkedIn, which they just moved to working from home, like people can do that permanently. Twitch, I think that's already owned by Amazon, so that makes sense. And they just moved off of Oracle as well. And then of course ESPN, ESPN Adobe, Twitter, so yeah, so th there's a lot of big companies using AWS, and you might be saying, oh, what are the big hitters that Azure has? So let's take a look at that. All right, so I wanted to show you this graph of the company or the market share for cloud here and show you the potential growth for both AWS and Azure. So the purple here is others. So this is cloud computing, like other companies that have cloud computing or so this is the potential growth that uh, AWS and Azure have. And you can already see here that AWS is already almost double um, what Azure has. Of course, Google Cloud is like 6%. So Alibaba is really low as well. So they're really the big containers here are AWS and Azure. And it doesn't, Google Cloud, nobody really cares about. I'm sorry. <laughs> now let me kind of go and look at AWS versus Azure in the news. And if you don't know already, um, there was a, a bid for the Jedi Council. Sorry, and Jedi stands for um, Joint Enterprise Defense Infrastructure. It's basically government work. And it was $10, 10, um, $10 billion in worth, really. And it was won by Microsoft Azure, which was a really big win for, AW, uh, for Azure and Microsoft. And then, of course, Amazon thought there was some foul play because um, Trump does not like um, AW, or Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos. So Amazon tried to challenge this bid. And this title of the article is saying that Amazon will likely secede in saying that, or in this, this challenge, because it was um, uh, on 13th of this year, a judge ordered the halt of the work of the, the project on Azure's uh, cloud infrastructure. So that can that's a pretty big like back win for Amazon. So it's kind of good that they fought for this. A judge said it's Amazon is likely to see on the merits of its arguments that the DoD and Department of Defense Department of Defense <laughs> I can barely speak uh, improperly in evaluated it. So um, so things are definitely heating up with um, this and this lawsuit. And I guess we'll see um, where this goes. This was uh, in March seventh. So. There'll probably be more news about this later on this year. So at the end of the day, both AWS and Azure are easy to use. They're both easy to use. And they both have really low risks of availability. So it's kind of hard to compare them because they have so many people and companies using them. But AWS has been in the game longer. And consequently, I would say they are more trustworthy, trustworthy even though there have been big data breaches, such as Capital One's large data bre breach last year. But that is a part of the shared responsibility model where both Capital One is <laughs> responsible and also AWS for not, I guess, telling them to secure, secure it more properly. But I would say it's mostly Capital One's fault there and not AWS's. And a AWS has more experience as well because they were, they have been in the game much longer, seven years longer as well. Anyways, that's the end of this uh, comparison. I hope you liked it. If you did, you can comment saying which platform you want to use or will use or are ready using, whichever one of those you are. And subscribe as well. Talk to you later. Peace.